The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. Yeah, there's a ton to talk about today, so let's just go right through it. Uh, the Dow made a peak F. Oh, I don't know about, oh. peak F. Remind me of something, and I have to just lift my eyes about two or three inches, and I've got my my song that I've wrote years and years ago, uh, decades ago, actually, 2002. Um, oh, I'll sing the song. There you are. Here we go. Uh, it's called the Chap Wave Song. Buy at the low and sell at the high. Of course, it's just a song. I wish I could do that all the time, but it just doesn't happen. Um, go. The market goes up. The market goes down. Supposed to buy at the low and sell at the high. You know what we tend to do. We buy at the high and we sell at the low. The Chapman wave is what you need. You buy with the stoke and the old Mac deed. You follow the price and wait for a peak. Higher highs is what we seek. The wave goes to A and then to B, even the anticipated C and D. That's when it flashes a cautionary light. But all you got to do is make your stop real tight. Big A, big B, big C, there's your D. That's when it flashes a cautionary light. But all you got to do is make your stops real tight. Suddenly it goes to E and F. A bell rings so loud it can make you deaf. So what you gonna do? Which way to go? You sell at the high and you buy at the low. And here we are. So the Dow made a peak F. And the only thing that was really giving the clue to some kind of a, some kind of a sell-off is that you've got... Um, the on-balance volume turning down, but there are a couple of other things. And the other things, oh, should I do it now? I'll do it now because we're just we're in a waiting mode right at this moment. We're waiting to see what happens with this little baby right here. There it is. And and how does it unfold? Because there is still internal strength that in the sense that I'm, we've got an, an internal high. And now we've got the residual high unfolding at that peak F because we went past that peak D. And but there's still because of this particular indicator that I'm going to get right up there. It is taking a little time because I've got a lot of charts up at this particular moment. This the our chart I said internal high. This is way back in in April. Internal high May goes to so that's the left side. An internal sorry, internal high on the left side and a res residual high on the right side, higher high. In this case, internal high on the left and a fractionally higher high on the right going to the July high. Then we get the left side high in July, and now we've got the right side. But look what has to happen to get that green nine period moving average to cross negative. It can take days unless there is a dark news cloud cover that says... The news that's pervasive is increasing, and it's increasing the sunning pressure. And that sunning pressure is telling you that the news that's unfolding is news that the market is finding extremely pertinent. Let's just have a look at the VIX index here to see what it's doing. So the VIX index has just flipped from pink to green. But this is a, the vicissitudes of, of this very short-term indicator all I can say is I didn't like the speed of the move to the upside yesterday in the sense that we had just about made a top. And now we've already got the VIX going from the, the 13s to the 16s. That's big, a big move. The sustainability of this VIX is really the issue. So let me go through the whole thing. I mean, I, I should have actually finished. I couldn't resist once I looked up and I saw my song that's there. It's just always been there. I just hardly ever look up. To see, to see, actually read the sign that's right in front of me. Um, but look, look at this indicator. Isn't it? It's it's the indicator for me. The indicator of last resort. Because look, 
the S and P. These are they're just three lines here. One is the price of the S and P on a closing basis. The other is the um, nine period moving average. It goes green when it flips over the fourteen, and the fourteen period is the black line. So it's green. And look how close we're getting, but we're not there yet. We've been here before and still turned up green. I think you've used up time. And I think this is a move that is going to be a broadening out of the selling uh, into most of the sectors that have done really well, especially one particular sector we'll talk about in a moment. So here we are with the S&P down 17 at 44.96. And you've got that that nine period moving average still positive at 43.39, uh, sorry, 45.39. And the black 14 period moving average is just below it at uh, 4531, 39 to 31. You only got those eight points to go for that for for the S and P to to start closing some of the gap. Anyway, so um, what we're looking at is the QQQ. That's even closer. Look how close this one is, three three seven seven on the nine period moving average. And the black is, if I can hit it, is 37744 and 37795. Uh, that's really close, but it's not there yet. But look, the price is hanging underneath the 14 period moving average. So I've got a sell, I've got a sell, sell signal on the uh, the uh, queues, not yet a sell mode. We have to wait just a little longer. And the IWM has crossed down under the 14 period moving average, but that nine period moving average is still way above the 14. So I like to do it because the SMHs, the SMHs getting really close and the price has gone very sharply into the 163. It's down just the 139 um, at the moment. It hit 152.16 and it's now 153.16. So let's get back to our story. In fact, let me get out of this right here. Close, workspace, save, always got to save, otherwise I'll lose some of the notations. There it is. Goodbye. Okay, so now we go back to our story. Got the song, and one of the reasons why we went short on that move up in the Dow uh, at 235.678 was because of the rollover, the work that I've done on the nine period moving average and uh, over the 14 period moving average, saying if you don't get the almost the exact top of the reversal, you're, you're subject to being taken out by the vicissitudes of this particular move because there's still going to be some residual. I mean, Apple and Amazon come out with earnings tonight. They could flip the market to the upside, but I think that we're going to start making lower lows. I don't know about yet about the highs, whether they're going to be lower highs. You can still have a retest of the high, 35,678. Apple is in, um, Apple is in, the, uh, in the Dow, so anything can happen. So I'll be watching this very closely. Okay, so I've got that out there. I don't even, tomorrow's technical Friday, I'll go into the, the, the weekly and the monthly. And yes, you're right, correct. One of my, um, one of uh, one of the people that have done most of my courses and um, Chapman Wave Methodology said, why isn't the um, leg B in the Dow blue? Um, and the answer is, I, I waited until the end of the month. Well, the month is finished. So now I can make it blue because the stochastic is at 86%. Mankey turned up and the mine is over the 14. That says it should be higher highs to a leg D. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 76, SB's down 16. Bows the chap and I get taken. So. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, so there are a bunch of things that I need to talk about. So I get a scotch, I got a list, I've got everything set. Here we go. If this is a move with the nine period moving average still really strongly above the 14 in the Dow, You've got to have this start to show up as being very pertinent, and that is Chapman Wave Dark News Cloud Cover. In other words, whatever the news is, it could be interest rates, we'll talk about that, could be higher, higher crude oil, whatever it is, it's got to become the meme for the market, and the theme. And so far, this kind of, a, it's just, there's no real theme to the downside. That's why there's total disbelief, I think, in this pullback, except for the people that had been anticipating, anticipating it. But you've got, uh, in the last week, raise your hands. How many people have heard at least one, if not three or four or five people, who admit, confess that they were wrong about the bear market and that they are giving, they, they're throwing in the towel and that that's it. So... When I look at it that way, I'm saying to myself, there are a lot of people that are thinking AI is the thing, uh, the market is going to keep going higher. This is the time that is, you, the market becomes most vulnerable, but it doesn't become vulnerable until the news that's pervasive starts to seem into or sink into the media so that people hear all the time throughout the day, not just once at the end, the news at seven, six o'clock, which is always a extremely biased news, but news that says, ha, huh, yields are really affecting people. And now they start talking about inflation or they just talk about something that really makes people very nervous. I don't think we've got the, anything like that right now. And that's why I'm saying that this dark news cloud cover is going to be building and maybe in a week or two, it'll start to become a lot more serious. And then you get, and I'll, I will draw this in now because I've been talking about it for long enough. So I'm drawing in another one right there. It's pervasive in the sense that uh, you've got little sporadic uh, moments that people are talking about inflation, talking about yields, etc. But it's only just beginning. All right, let's get out of this. And now we can go to other things that are really important. So that means... Unless in the next day or two, well, first of all, when you get a turnaround like this, especially at a peak F top in the Chapman methodology, 
it has to be with yesterday was a really good dark news cloud cover candle. But if today is even we're down 64 in the Dow, we're down 70, meh, that's nothing. You've got to have another, a very serious move like that. You remember the Chapman Wave Roman candle that we had? Oh, talk about candles. You've got uh, uh, Monday a week. You've got a uh, great, great uh, show coming up, uh, a webinar, um, and it's going to be uh, about candles. I will talk about that a little bit more, but uh, check it out. That's Teddy's uh, webinar. So you've got a Roman candle right there, and then you still went down. So it was a very quick 34,588 to 33,600. So 2,000 point drop. That's the kind of thing that starts to change the nine period moving average. And then it still takes a lot, and it never did turn pink. It stayed green. So I'm saying to you, this is a process. So by the end of the day, for me to really start getting confidence that this is the kind of move that has some serious points to the downside, I'm not even talking about time yet, because the time is the process that if there's a bounce today and then Apple comes out or Amazon and affects the market positively tomorrow, that's no good. That that fits perfectly. This very slow rollover with a nine period uh, above the 14. If you want to see that green go to 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 pink, you you got to close down today at least 250 points in the Dow, at least uh, 48 to 53 points in the S&P, and then follow it up with a horrible Friday so that Monday everybody comes in all now they're getting really nervous. That's the speed that you've got to have. So at this point, there are two scenarios. One is it's a slow rollover, making the upside limited. Yes, you can get a new recovery high, but it's not. It's going to be a real struggle to get there, and it has to be like a one sudden move, and the next day just gives it up and makes a lower low. So two scenarios. One is bad, bad, bad action comes in later today and closes very horribly, lousy overnight, opens very sharply lower tomorrow, tries to rally, and by the end of the day, it, it closes down horribly. And that would mean that Apple kind of misses its whatever it is. Okay, let's go to Apple right now, because I'm talking about it. Let's do it. Here we go, Apple. AAP. And don't think this is just a Dow thing. Oh, Dow 30. This, I have to tell you, I hear that all the time, and it's price way. It's just that's a Hey, the Dow 30 is what is a kind of a measure of the market that goes back over 100 years. I use it because it is such a fantastic mix right now of everything in the economy. So it's a perfect, it's a microcosm, that's all. So it doesn't have 300 stocks, it has 30. So I, it's pertinent, and all the technicals that I'm talking about here apply at some point to the other indices. Okay, so now with that said, we've got Apple, and Apple shows you it's made a peak. Let me get this. Oh, I always do that. I have to click that, then I can go to Apple. Right, here we go. Apple. Apple is down. This is dreaded H. You know the patterns we talk about? I talk about them all the time. There are only three key actual price patterns that I follow very closely, and that is the arch, the cup, and the straight line. And the, the, the straight line down can have a bounce, and if it fails at a peak A or a B, takes out the left side low, that's called the dreaded H. Oh, do I have to do that? No, I do. We always have new people here at TFNN. We're just out, we're expanding all over the world, as always. We've got people from around the world. Um, look, dreaded H goes down, makes an arch formation. That's a straight line and an arch. Straight line up and a, and a cup formation. That's the reverse Y. This is the dreaded H because if it takes out that left side low and then closes below that left side low for, for, for I usually say two sessions, but maybe three. It cannot close above that left side uh, low. Watch out. You can go one to one to the downside. So these are just patterns of repeating the market over. I mean, look at this. You got the um, one minute chart made the arch formation. It's in the process. I've got the left side, right side price time match extending. 4508 should be hit within the next three, four minutes. I don't know if it's going to. I'm just saying this is the pattern that we're looking at. There's the arch, there's the dreaded H. There's the bar symmetry. I don't know if it'll do that, but that's the pattern that I'd be looking at. There is the arch formation of the peak D, peak D is where you start to think buy signal to buy mode says you should go to at least four higher peaks. If it fails there, then you've got to be careful because there could be a much higher, a deeper correction. Well, there is. You've gone back to the low of 
uh, four o'clock this morning. This is the e mini that I'm showing you. So prices repeat, doesn't matter what time frame. Larry showed that yesterday when he was doing his terrific webinar, a live webinar, a number of these aspects. Uh, he uses different names, different uh, techniques, but basically we're looking at the same kind of thing. Expansion, one-to-ones, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the H pattern. And this H pattern says if Apple, which today is now under the left side low of the 21st of July, 191.23, it's at 191.23 right now. But it did go below it just a moment ago. And um, if Apple closes below this low, be careful, because if it does that in the sense, it cannot close above it, it says be, be careful, it could go one to one to the downside. If it rallies, I'm just looking at an H that goes to a lowercase, a lowercase H that goes to a lowercase M, and then you're gonna test it. So I see Apple at some point coming down towards the 180s. Uh, we'll see what happens, all right. Oh, we've got a break. We've got down 113 in the Dow, down 23 in the S&P. I'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So a couple of questions came in, and then in the, in the, in the Tiger YouTube, uh, Rochelle says, sold a few Melly 1285. So I guess she's in the options, or I think so. I'm just guessing. So this is a Mercado Libre e-commerce Latin American uh, peak B in the uh, monthly 
it had a peak deep top of about 2,000 and plummets down to the 500s. And now it's had a really nice bounce. It's got the Chevrolet falling axe formation, but it is an arch. How important is the peak D? Peak D in the month in the weekly chart back in early uh, 2023 pulls back, goes peak A, B, C, D again. Another one, this is a far more serious decline. Uh, and it goes from uh, one, uh, 1292 down to uh, 1,100. Hundred and no, 1,063. And now it's trading and it had a big spike today to 1,302. Must be news. The gap up. This is another leg D. So all I can say is it's acting extremely well in this environment to actually have such a, a percussive move to the upside from the 200. Look at that 200 period moving average takeoff right there. I like it, but you still got to be careful because I think it's market conditions that you're looking at right now. So Good, uh, that you took a little bit off. I would think that this is going to go kind of sideways for a little while. If it doesn't, over the next week, going from today to, let's go Friday week. If by Friday week it is not closed under 11.48, that's the 200 period moving average, um, that will be outstanding action. So treat, and that's the other thing I wanted to say. Someone mentioned something earlier on, um, uh, yeah, about... Um, about the about the different uh, some of the different sectors, and I said you've got to now think of everything separately. Uh, this is going to be very important. So the, the e-commerce Latin America could have a different. Look at this. If I go to the XLF, just go to this as, as a kind of a, an ETF of America. It's had a really good rally, and it's only pulling back mildly from the peak E double top that it made in the 30, uh, 35s. And now it's at 34.84, just under the 14-period moving average. And the 9-period moving average is turning down. The MACD is down. Stochastic is very weak. On balance volume is good. But look at the relative strength. The relative strength is starting to weaken. But that monthly, the weekly chart, stochastic's flat at 89%. That's good. So you've got to look at everything separately. If you look at I always talk about Bank of America. Look at Bank of America. It held quite well. And even today, it's kind of holding down well under the 200-period moving average. Weekly charts improved, but it's a different chart pattern completely to J.P. Morgan. So you've got to be very selective. J.P. Morgan um, ran up to a peak. Uh, also, is that a peak F? Yeah, I think that's a peak F right there. Uh, I'm looking at the 31st of July, uh, 159.38. 159.38. 159.38. Yes, that is a peak F right there. So each one has a slightly different thing. So I'm saying, yes, in terms of the market, your Mercado de Libre, M-E-L-I -E -M -E is the symbol. I like it very much. And um, all I can say is that when something's holding as well, as it, another one that came to mind was I was asked about so far. One that I've been looking at for subscribers for a while to buy, and then we just kind of missed it. Uh, this is SPFI. What is that? South Plains Financial. Huh. Very nice. Move up. Trading at 26.57. Let me just make a note of this. SPFI. That was an accident. I was going to look at uh, SoFi. Made a peak D. That's how important the peak D is. Look, 10.23 on the 18th of June. Pulls back, makes the cup formation, goes peak A, then again, rallies again, peak A, B, C, and goes to spikes up to a D. Now it's almost full the gap. So once again, this acted extremely well. It's a little bit under pressure right now. I put it, this is SoFi Technologies, Inc., online banking, financial solutions. I think the monthly's improved enough for me to say that this is in play, but and in this environment, it could be, start to get really choppy. But keep it on your list because the weekly chart, all the technicals are very, very strong. It says at 969 right now, down 10 cents, the whole area of uh, between 920 and 8, I'd say 850. That's going to be tremendous support. Yeah, big percentages if it does pull back. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I've been looking at as some kind of a cushion. Um, where was the other one again? Uh, was it? Was it? Oh, where, where did it go? There was a question. Oh, uh, GDX. I haven't got there yet, but I'll do it right now. Market vectors, gold miners down at 29.28. We were long this. We got taken out. We were long, and I, I kept saying, 
I'm not happy with it, but in the conditions, the way the dollar is acting, gold has acted quite well, not great, but quite well. And I, but unless the miners really lead the way, I don't, I don't like. I think gold usually follows. If gold leads, then the gold miners obviously will follow, but they really follow us. I like them to lead and it starts to pull back. You made your peak E in the gold itself. It's pulling back today. It's coming back a little bit from the low. But as I'm looking at this, I'm I'm a little cautious on, on the fact that in this environment, I think gold is just kind of sitting aside. If you look at BTC, BTC, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin stuck now. It made that kind of a, almost a, a triple top um, in the 32,000 area. Now it's trading at 29,400. I just think it's also kind of stalling. So there's nothing to take its place, especially if the dollar, which is not fantastic, is just acting well. Look, I mean, uh, look how quickly it came down. It took one, it took one, two, three, four, five, six sessions to plummet from the hundred uh, 103s uh, down to the low that was made of 99 point, was it 81 or something? 1958. I, I should type that in, 1958. <clears throat> And double bottom. And then it ran all the way to 102.62, where it is today. Um, and it's taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And it hasn't yet got to the 103, 19, 200 period exponential moving average. My thinking here is if you put it together with USD, uh, JPY, which, oh, I typed that in the wrong place, right there. Uh, USD JPY. Look at that. It made that leg D right there. I said yesterday, I think it should. Did I do it yesterday? I think I did. But I was, uh, anyway, I was looking at it and I said, it should go to a leg D. If it makes a leg D under the previous PE in the 145 area, I'm going to have to watch this closely because it's going to make the leg D in the weekly chart to get to 145, 10 or whatever that would be to go to leg D. Um, it will make it much harder. But all the technicals are actually quite good. So it could be a purely technical thing on this side. If you look at the EUR, USD, better get a move on here. I've still got a lot of charts to look at. With the three doji candle top at peak D, uh, it's trading at 1.09. <clears throat> it's trying to find a little bit of a base here, but it made a peak D in the week. I think this has got more room to digest. That's the euro as the yen tries to go for that leg D in the weekly chart, and the dollar just, it's almost like, by default, the dollar's moving up. I don't think it's leading. So in that sense, we've got to consider it um, that the dollar and the yen are strong, and that the euro is weak, and gold is therefore weak. So I've got that point made. I'll be right back. Dow's down 134, it's been down to The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So here's the OSH formation in the one minute E mini. You got your left side, right side price time match right there. You've got this in the 10 minute chart, the same thing. And now what we're looking at is we're looking at a second arch formation that goes from a lowercase h to a kind of a little mini M shaped pattern here. To remember, this is a really important moment in the Dow if there are two scenarios with that nine period, nine over the 14, uh, probably at the end of, uh, towards later on this month, I'm going to do a webinar and I'll be discussing this in, in much greater detail. I've done it before, but this is live. So you've been able to watch it unfold as I speak. So either it's just bad news, just really tanks the market immediately so that you can get that nine period moving, finally going towards the 14 period moving. Otherwise it just takes time. And it could even deflect and start a brand new buy signal. I mean, I, anything can happen. My eye, eye from all the charts that I've looked at suggests that we are ready. I mean, let's just go through this right now. I, I, did I finish? No, I just better finish this. Okay. So uh, silver is trading. Silver is trading down after a peak D top right there. So it's peak D, E, or F, uh, uh, T, D or high is where the deeper corrections can occur. So this is going to the 200 period moving average. It tagged it today. I just think it's kind of stuck with gold. It's just kind of stuck. We're looking at high grade copper. Now, this is very interesting. Look, high grade copper, peak D, and a very sharp pullback. I did this earlier on. I wanted to show something. Look, yes, high grade copper, uh, HG. This is the continuous contract. Uh, look how it's been rallying from the low early at about 3 a.m. this morning. Yeah, 3 a.m. this morning. There's a 10-minute chart. Peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. I drew in this cup formation. And, and look, it's just following the nine period moving average. It's gone higher. This could be an alternate count. Um, and this could be G slash C right here. This is the 10-minute chart. It's gone above the left side high. That's now fantastic because it makes this whole area, uh, this whole area, Right here, the candle that may peak F in the 10 minute chart at 2150 on the second, that is uh, yesterday at 950 uh, p.m. Uh, so, was that 2150? What am I saying? Yes, uh, that was, yeah, p.m. Um, it makes this whole area really good support in any pullback. But at the same time, it did pull back sharply in the daily. So you got to be careful. Okay, I wanted to just go to. Um, we we're talking about what SPG I saw in the den. Simon Properties. I follow Simon Properties for years and years and years because they have a couple of malls here in the Boston area. Look at this gap down at a peak E, and look at this beautiful peak D pulls back, makes this arch formation with a very. You know my rule of thumb. In the Chapman Way methodology, if you get a very quick peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, peak E, this is one of the quickest you can ever get. There's just one bar in between each peak. There are two bars going to the E. 
Um, and now look at the sharp. You got to be careful. It doesn't tell you you're going to have a sharp sell-off like you have. It does say be careful. You're going to have some kind of a pullback very quickly. <laughs> this is not some kind of a pullback going from 125 to today's low of 114. I would say that's more than that. And look, here's the weekly charts. It went to a peak B in that last run-up in the uh, monthly chart. The magnet is just barely positive. Stochastic's still weak. On balance, volume is weak. I, I'm looking at this, and I'm wondering whether or not we're going to start to see uh, Toll Brothers start to turn down. I, I spoke about this for subscribers to my opening call. I said there's no way that these uh, HGX, there's no way that the home builders can continue rallying in, in this environment when yields are going so much higher. Look at this peak D in the HGX. You've got to be careful, and it's selective. There's some places that you look around. I mean, our some symbolic darn thing. It won't pull back enough for us to get and a safer entry point to add to that position from the 21 that hit 64 the other day, 63, 64. Now, now it's trading at 59. This, this is end to end AI robotic warehouse automation. So, some stocks are just ignoring what's going on. But I'm looking at the majority of our bots. I expected it to pull back. Yep, we've had a real nice run. Look at this. Double top, it's pulling back. This is the Global X Robotics and AI ETF. Look at Hack, which is peak D. There you are. Peak D in the day, leg D in the weekly. Prime cybersecurity. Kind of struggling over here. PANW is one of the lead lead in the uh, sector. It may look, there's the dreaded H that fails at a peak B. A, a or B. I don't know if it's fading just yet, but it's certainly making some kind of an arch formation here after that peak D top. So I'm just saying these patterns repeat over and over. The notations repeat over and over and over. And all you can do is is follow them and say, take me where you want to take me. Okay, next thing I want you to look at, and I've written it all down here. Um, so crude oil. Question came in is, where do I think crude oil is going? Well, it's stuck in the rectangle formation. It's had a fantastic move from the 66 on the continuous contract to the 82 level. Now it's at 70. It's at 80 after hitting 70, uh, 78, uh, uh, 60 or so this morning. And here it is at 60.80.67, uh, uh, with a, a doji potential doji leg D in the weekly chart and the technicals. The nine is just cross positive. The MACD is good. Stochastic is 73% still lagging. On balance volume is very good. I'm just telling you that we've got to be ready here for almost anything. But to get the sell off, uh, you know, some people, the people have been talking about a crash or, or major, this is the end, um, have been talking about that for ages. So I have to exclude them from this particular patter, patter pitter patter, because they've already not proved that they, they, their scenario was a valid one. It can turn into it, but it hasn't happened yet. The next thing is, within the context of um, the patterns that we look at, the IYT, which is the transportation index, has gone to a peak E. It's finally come out of this incredible channel. Look at this beautiful up channel. And I always talk about channels. I, I started off doing channels. I'm doing many other things, but on my graph paper, the engineering paper, paper, paper and pencil, I used to graph the prices of, of the Dow and the S&P, the uh, Nikkei, uh, Japanese Nikkei, uh, and the, F, the FTSE 30. Uh, of course, you don't have to do that anymore. But uh, when I look at these things, the IYT, which is the <clears throat> transportation, I shares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund. Wow. I mean, it's the transports, right? Very nice move up in the week in the monthly chart. The weekly chart did this beautiful cup formation. It failed. It got to this D. Right. I don't know if that's a high or high. I must get rid of this gray line. Yes, it did. It's in leg D as we speak in in the weekly chart. I'm watching it. The D's could fail below that peak B that was made at 276.87, the week of the first of April. The technicals are all very strong. So I'm saying that this is, I think it's more a rollover congestion and digestion phase that you're looking at in the market. There are some stocks that are going to really take a dive. Um, but in the, in the main, I think this is a very well-earned rest period. That's all. 
But that's the reason why I'm saying that the 914 is going to take its time. And when it finally crosses negative, if it does, it could do that like it's done before for a day and then move to the upside. But this is a rollover phase that I'm looking at. But for it to accelerate really deeply, you've got to get a really bad close today. And then I'll say, ooh. Yeah, I'll say more then. I'll be right back. Dow's down 109. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So, when the tide turns, oh, I must find that chart for my CD, and I'll talk about my CD tomorrow, my CD, Introducing Champagne Methodology CD uh, book. Um, Sort of kind of out of print. I'm going to see if I can get a bunch made and all that, and then we'll just have some kind of a sale because not many people have CDs, but you can pick one up, a uh, connection very easily. Um, anyway, with that said, the volatility index, the speed with which it's gone from under 13 to the 17 uh, level, that is 17.01 right now, off the top says to me something has to happen to say that this, uh, talk about the dark news cloud cover, that whatever the market is worried about now is going to exacerbate. It's going to, it's going to increase over the next couple of days going into next week. And that says the VIX index holding on a Friday above 16, if it's able to do that instead of slipping to the 15th, which it so often does. But on a weekly basis, if we go into the weekend, 
with a high VIX index. It'll be one of the first times in ages. So just keep an eye on that. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Also, send a couple of questions over because there are a lot of things. I want you to show you this just as we're going out here. Look, here's the VT. This is the Vanguard Total World ETF. Made a peak E, double top right there. Look at that pullback. That's the daily. The weekly is an alternate account, F slash C. So far, the technicals are still good. But the on-balance volume is quite weak. And look at the monthly chart. Also has a blue, boo, a blue leg B to the upside. And that's just saying that um, the stochastic at 82. This is, not, this is good. And the WT, which is the wisdom tree, exchange trader funds, fixed income currencies, commodities, is pulling back sharply. And um, after a peak D in the monthly chart, there's a lot going on. And just as we're wrapping up here, the DB, the agricultural side, is uh, stalling off the repeat D double top. That's the agriculture. So have a great day. Stay tuned for Steve Rhodes' great, great program and check out for opening for my daily newsletter. And yes, okay, I'll sing the song again tomorrow. Well, I know, see, we played the song.